And with enough clearing tonight, we may go into partly cloudy skies for a few hours before those lake, uh, lake effect clouds start to develop and move inland. We will likely fall down into the upper single digits, lower teens away from Lake Michigan. Those along the lake shore will stay in the middle teens. So we'll break it down time wise for you when it comes to the snowfall lake effect and what's going to be happening on Sunday. The light flurries, light snow showers will continue through this evening and then they're going to move on out with time towards the east by tomorrow morning. We'll see a band of lake effects setting up over Lake Michigan, which is going to be pretty substantial as it moves on shore, especially west of US 131 closer to the lake shore for the morning commute. This is 8 a.m. could be snowing very heavily along US 31. Then we're going to see that bigger piece of energy up in the atmosphere move over Lake Michigan and bring more widespread lake effect snowfall for most of West Michigan. That'll die down into Saturday morning, but there could still be a few flurries around for the start of our weekend. Now again, we've got two pieces uh, or two more uh, systems, two more rounds of snowfall coming into the extended forecast. Tomorrow is going to be lake effect with one to three inches along and west of US 131. The Heaviest is going to be along Lake Michigan shoreline, so one to three inches on Friday. Then we're going to add another two to three inches of snowfall on top of what falls on Friday, Sunday night into our Monday. Some spots could even approach four inches of snowfall, and that's additional snowfall Sunday night into Monday before we really start to race into those warmer temperatures. And while this isn't anything substantial warmth wise, it's only about five degrees above normal compared to what we've had to deal with the last several weeks. It's going to feel really nice, especially with some sunshine both Tuesday and Wednesday getting near 40.